Hello, Namaste, everybody. It's me, Mohan Prasad Gautam, your English teacher. Very first, I'd like to welcome you all in this virtual class conducted by National Passion Kaski under the part of distant education, especially for you, my dear student. Right? Okay, uh, dear student, in my uh, previous class, I taught you okay, the lesson and even, even I just discussed with you we have made discussion regarding the question answer or regarding the that true false exercise okay and even i have just made you very clear regarding the question and answer yes i am very very hopeful to you my dear student last time in my last class you have got idea much more idea how to write the answer how to find out the answer from the given text right so in this class today, I am just going to show you the modal answer or the sample answer for you. Okay, but one thing I must tell you, my dear student, when you see the answer from here, screen, don't, don't memorize. You are not supposed to memorize it and everything. This is not hard and fast answer. This is the language subject, a skill-based subject. You must find the answer yourself. You must write the answer in your own words, right? But how it must be written? Just only I'm just going to show you a sample answer to you, right? Okay. So exercise number three. Okay. Here is question answer we have. Exercise number three. Exercise number C, and under that we have number three. Yeah. Question answer. Now let's have a look. Look at question number A. Look at question number A in your book. How old are Govinda and Govinda? See the question first. Very first look at the question. Okay. How old are Okay. How old are Govinda and Govinda? Already I made you clear regarding the meaning of the questions now. Even I just talked about the even answer. I have shown you the answer location in the textbook as well, in the given text as well. Right? So now from there, how to pick up the answer? How to get the answer? Yes. Just already just I have shown you that underlying part, okay, or the highlighted area. So this is the answer area. From there you have to write down the answer of this question, right? So my dear student, now let's have a look. The sample answer of number A. Govin is two month. Govin is two month. And Govinda is 97 years, two month. Okay. And is missing over there, please. So write it down yourself. Govin is two month and Govinda is 97 years. Two month. This is the, the sample answer given to you. Okay, now write it down in your copy. If you didn't write your answer perfectly first, okay. Look at question number question number B. Why is Gobind inactive? Yes. Why is Gobind inactive? Inactive means what? Just why is Gobind passive? Not active. Why? The reason is what? Already we discussed. Now, our intention, our purpose is here what? To scan the text to pick up the perfect answer, right? Now, let you go back to the, okay, text, okay. Inactive, keyword is here what? With the keyword, you have to find the answer. So, look at the end. Govin is quite inactive, having no, having not at the strength or ability to, ability, ability to what? By himself. Okay, this is the answer area I have here highlighted for you. Now, my dear student, okay, you have to now write down this answer in the in the same format, okay, of the questions, right? So now let's look at the answer of this one. Okay, second one answer. Yeah, Govin is inactive, right? Govin is inactive because of having not had the strength or ability to work by himself. Are you getting? Govin is inactive because of having not had the strength or ability to 
work by himself so this is the <coughs> answer so he doesn't have the strength he doesn't have the energy he doesn't have the martial power okay uh, to work by himself eight okay now let's have a look to the next questions given in your book question number c what is given in the question number c what is the meaning of what is the meaning of grandpa has outgrown the use of a comb already i made it clear in my previous class what does it mean so you should write you should give the meaning of this phrase meaning of this sentence okay so according to the given text right okay so let me apply the same method what i have taught you before okay so let me go back to the text okay what is the meaning okay what is the meaning of that you can see at the top of this paragraph at the top okay you can hear grandpa has outgrown the use of a comb and and govin has not ate the growth okay grown old enough to to need to need one it means what what does it mean okay so the exact answer even not found the exact answer is not found exactly from the given text in that any time so at this time you have to you have to make your own prediction make you have to deduce the meaning you have to make the general idea from here you have to write answer in your own words okay you cannot write the exact line from this uh, uh, paragraph but here i have highlighted the okay the answer is hidden within these lines okay so hidden answer that hidden answer that you must have take it out okay to write the answer of this question number which one c what is the meaning of the grandpa has outgrown the use of a comb <coughs> your comb means what this is the tools to make your hair very smooth okay okay my dear student now so answer might be what now let's have a look that sample answer given to you number c the meaning of grandpa has outgrown the use of a comb is is okay he is now very old and has no any hair on his head this is the answer already i explained in the time of explaining the lesson as well no hair due to the old is very very old is 97 years is not the okay that the the minor is okay just the okay a very very old man okay so obviously uh, he doesn't have any hair on his head right so please write it down my dear student please now without delay let's go to the next number okay next number which one now number d let's have a look very first the question even you can see the question from your english book also okay here look at the question <coughs> here on the screen look how how are grandpa how are grandpa and govin similar in terms of wisdom okay how are grandpa and govin similar in terms of wisdom now wisdom means knowledge okay wisdom means what i said wisdom means knowledge on the basis of wisdom or intelligence or knowledge what similarities what similarities are found now we should write now you are very clear my student okay in terms of wisdom already i made you clear that in my previous class in terms of wisdom one is very small an infant small one small baby not yet developed by the sorry <coughs> by their by by his what brain okay mental capacity you got it in case of here <coughs> what in case of here what grandpa or even we can say govinda in case of govinda what happens due to the old age very very old age elderly man get it elderly man okay has already lost his memory lost his memory lost his intelligence lost his wisdom okay because the brain can't okay control everything it it loses its potentiality capacity you got it okay so that both of them are 
understand in this regard right now let's have a look the sample answer given to you my dear student okay number d grandpa i now look at here on the screen grandpa and govind are similar in terms of wisdom in a sense that govind is without understanding and wisdom and grandpa passed the age of having to understand yeah got it past the age of understanding now grandpa can't understand okay can't understand can't gather information can't build up knowledge okay even lost memory okay grandpa has lost his memory now in case of child still without understanding it is not time to understand each and everything so just like a blank sheet of paper okay the child mind here can be seen here just like a blank sheet of paper many things to be filled up with this brain okay along with his development you got it okay my dear student please copy down this answer in your english copy right okay my dear student now let me show you to the next questions here okay now look at the next question here yes have a look which number now now number number e look at number e are you looking at number e or not yeah in what in what way do they seem to understand each other very well in what way do they seem to understand very well okay both of them are showing same type of behavior here in terms of language as well right both of them produce meaningless sound mumbling sound okay they produce and they communicate in the same way to make understand each other right so that here how do you write the answer in what way do they seem to understand okay so in what way so that the answer area you cannot find the exact answer also but you can go back to the text in what way do they okay understand in what way do they seem to understand each other very well now look at the highlighted part here so where the answer is answer might be there look there yeah sometimes grandpa utters little mumbling noises to himself which means nothing to either himself or anybody anybody else unless little govin understands then because he also does the same thing perhaps they are talking to each other in a language of their own right they create their own private language right even though they don't understand each other's voice each other meaning exactly but by the sense okay by their daily habit they are communicating each other right this is how okay they understand each other okay the answer must be written here so that the exact line is not found here here also you have to make your own answer on the basis of the context given within this line right okay my dear student now okay let me show you the sample answer written for you okay now which number answer number e answer look here my student look now number e answer they seem to understand each other very well in a sense that both of them produce meaningless sound if they have to respond other when they have to respond other right both of them produce what meaningless sound but when there are similar type of the people right obviously they understand each other okay gesture each other's body language each other's that even the mumbling sound as well they understand got it so that answer can be written please now copy down this answer in your english copy okay my dear student now let me take you to the next question asked here in your english book okay so can you please tell me the question what question given the number f which number number f don't say yeah okay which number number f okay the pronunciation is what f okay now why is okay so let me just show you the question even here on the screen here okay let me show you the question here okay look why is gobind called a thief of the whole block right very interesting questions right 
Why is Gobin Khan a seed of the old block? Look at this phrase. Seed of the old block. What does it mean? Okay. Now, just I'm going to take you to the okay that text. Now look at here. Look at the. Uh, you have to scan here. The answer with this keyword. Find the answer. Where is the word given that? Seed of the old block given away. Yeah, at the last line of the last paragraph. So from there we have to make the answer. Here is given. Perhaps this is what the adult mean when they say he is a seed of the old block. Yeah, this very phrase written. Whatever has been told before in this story. Okay, so this overall represent the answer of these questions. So you cannot write everything from, from the above paragraph, right? But you have to summarize your answer. You have to deduce the meaning. You have to just only pick up the specific information. So, okay, you must have now the skimming technique. Okay, if you use the skimming technique, you understand overall text, then you can make your answer yourself, even though the answer is exactly not given in, in the line, in the paragraph. Got it? Okay, now how to, how to find the answer? Okay, so my dear student, so here chief of the whole blog means what? It means chief of the, when you consult dictionary, here chief of means what? Chief of means a piece of, a piece of wood separated, a piece of wood separated when you, when you chop log with X. Okay, so I mean, okay, that is called what? Uh, chip of a uh, separated part of the piece of wood okay from log okay log big wood okay it's called just like for firewood purpose we can use them right so this is called say but here what does it mean what is the uh, implied meaning here okay what is the implied or contextual meaning here okay so now let me show you the answer we have this last question my dear student look at here Number F answer, yes. Gobin is called a chief of the old block because he is sign who has exactly the same feature as an old parent, right? Of course, just carbon copy, okay? Just carbon copy, Xerox copy, exactly same as the original one. Here, I mean original uh, refers to the Parent, whole parent, right? Your father, your mother, your grandpa, your grandma, etc. Right? So that if you are exactly same as your father, your grandfather, like this, then given you are just called what? Chief of the whole block, right? Separated from your parent, having the same feature, same characteristic. Got it? Okay, my dear student, write down this answer. Gavin is called a chief of the whole block because he is a child who has his child. He is a child, I'm sorry, you should write it. He is a child who has exactly the same feature as in whole parent. Okay, please write down because he he is a write down here in definite article of before the singular count table now we have to use article a or you can say he, he, he is a child who has exactly the same feature as in whole parent. Okay, this is the answer of the questions, right? Okay, my dear student, uh, in this class, just today, I have just given you the sample answer. I hope you have also written such answer in your copy and you are ready with the answer and when your school reopen, hopefully you are just going to submit this copy to your concerned teacher, right? Okay, my dear student, uh, so today, just... Uh, I want to give you homework. Please write down homework from page number seven of your English Paragon English book. There is fill in the blanks with the following preposition. Okay, such type of exercise given in your book, right? So please practice writing answer with your pencil. Very good. Use your pencil to write answer later. In my next class, I will be giving you answer and then I will be telling you even basic rules of prepositions also. Okay, this must be today, my dear student. Thank you. Have a nice time.